What's up? It's Andy here from Banshee Boat, and today we're going to go over how to manually lift and lower your outboard engine if your hydraulic trim is malfunctioning for some reason, or if you just need to add fluid and you have to lift it to the upright position, lock it in, then you can add fluid there. I'm going to show you how to release the hydraulic system, and we're going to get it going. Woo! Banshee Boat, baby! Very good. Close. Banshee Boat for everything boating. These maneuvers could be dangerous if not operating the boat properly. Do so at your own risk. Make sure to always have boating safety equipment, pleasure craft license on board, and always wear your PFD. Be conscious of those around you. Respect the shared water weight. Remember, never drink alcohol on board. Always place safe on the water. Today, I'm going to show you how to manually lift and lower your outboard engine if your trim was malfunctioning or if you simply needed to add fluid and you needed it in the up locked position. I'm going to show you how to easily do that today. Stick with me. For the demonstration, I'm going to have my trim up here. Get it off the lock. Now, what I'll do is I'm just going to put this board under here just for support. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is just take my flathead screwdriver. What you need to do is open the bypass valve so the hydraulic fluid can flow freely so that you can move this motor um, so that you can move this motor manually. So the first thing we do, take a look down here. Right here, there's a little hole. That is where the screw is, kind of like a, a, a car jack. That little screw that uh, lets the uh, fluid come out, it's exactly that. It's a valve right here, and it's operated by the flathead screwdriver. All right, so here is my screwdriver. So I'll just simply put this in and I'll loosen it, get a nice size screwdriver so it doesn't strip the screw because that would not be good to strip that. And if you can just see right in here, there's the screw. So I find my screw, then I loosen it out just like that. And we're gonna do, the engine already moved, just a couple turns, all right? And now we should be able to freely move our engine. Once we have that turned, we can now manually lower the engine. And we can do the exact same to manually lift the engine. Okay, perfect. So that's how you do it. And same thing in reverse. Got my screw. And I tighten it up. Because it was in the up position before, so. There you go, and now that you've locked the engine in, now you can come up and uh, we test the trim function. Perfect. So there it is. Now everything's good. I hope you enjoyed the video on how to use your trim and tilt function manually if your trim and tilt malfunctioned or if you need to add fluid and you need it in that upright position. In the spring, we're gonna do some great stuff. We're gonna do some drone shots, new lakes. We're gonna, we are only striving to get 4K shots. I'm gonna try and get the best sound and the best video in every single video to come and make it better and better every single video that I make. So hopefully you subscribe right down there because every video that comes out, you are gonna be happy with. Check out one of these other fantastic videos. You won't be disappointed.